when we have a short meditation session like this. There's not much in terms of quantity, so you have to make it up with quality. That you really are alert to what you're doing, really are determined on what you're doing. Sometimes there's a tendency when you have a whole hour or two hours to meditate, the mind is like a glider, just gradually comes down. And finally, just a few minutes before the session ends, you finally land. That's a bad habit. You want to develop the habit of focusing the mind as soon as you close your eyes. It's there with the breath, solidly. And then you keep it there. Use whatever strategy you have for making the breath interesting, for making it a pleasant place to stay, making it a useful place to stay, useful in the sense of helping with any chronic illnesses or pains you may have in the body. That's one of the ways of getting really interested in what's going on here. So if you have a chronic pain or a chronic pattern of tension in the body, how can the breath help with that? Try to get in touch with that. When you notice that the mind settles down, notice where it's focused when it likes to settle down. When it feels most at ease, feels most content. And then try to recreate those conditions the next time around. In other words, pay real attention to what you're doing right here. And try to get the mind to settle in as quickly as you can. In this way, the short meditation has a lot of value. And John Lee makes a comparison with paper. You can have bushels and bushels of newsprint, but it doesn't buy much. All you need is one little slip of paper that's got the government seal. Genuine money. And what is, what's genuine about it? It's simply that it's been given meaning. You can buy all kinds of things with a little slip of paper like that. So it gives some meaning to these short meditation sessions. Don't treat them simply as a ceremony. There are times for you to get the mind to settle down really quickly and master that skill of getting it centered right away. Then when you have longer meditation sessions, then you can deal with the other skills of learning to get it settled down right away and then keep it there. And do battle with whatever comes up to destroy your meditation. This way you get the most out of your time. Because our time is short, as the Buddha said. Even if you live a hundred years, it's short compared with it, what you've been doing throughout samsara for who knows how long. So don't throw over these short periods away. Get the most out of them. Because they have a lot to give. Remember that statement about being heedful. When the Buddha told the monks to be heedful, one monk said, Well, I think about death once a day. Realizing if I had one more day to live, I could accomplish a lot. Now the monk says, I think about twice a day, three times a day, four times a day. Finally gets down to one monk who says, when I breathe in, I hope may I live to breathe out, and I can accomplish a lot. And the Buddha said, that last monk is the one who's really not heedful. So keep that kind of watch over your mind. Have that sense of the importance of each moment, each breath as it comes in and goes out. And you can accomplish a lot.